Hi everybody, Chris here from Truly Holistic. Now in this video, we're going to talk about what is grounding, what is earthing. I had a, a client today that uh, was possibly looking at earthing products and wanted to know my take on earthing and grounding. We hear, obviously the word earthing is referred to the effect that touching the earth has on our human physiology. And obviously grounding is a term that's used a lot. You know, you think about grounding your house, right? All the elect uh, electrical wiring in your house, you've got to ground it, right? Uh, same thing from a spiritual perspective. A lot of people will say, I need, need grounding. I just feel airy theory. You know, I, don't, I don't feel grounded. I feel I need to ground myself. So let's look at what is earthing, what is grounding. Now this is an interesting topic because before I got into energy healing, one of my introductions into anything to do with energy is uh, was getting a grounding mat and a grounding sheet, so grounding technology, earthing technology, because uh, I'd learnt so much about the anti-inflammatory uh, effect of grounding or earthing yourself to the earth. So I bought a bed sheet and I bought a, a mat that I, I placed in my feet when I was working on a computer, for example. Because computers, you know, um, your dryer and a lot of appliances that we have in our homes give off positive ionization. And positive ions are not are, are the things that create inflammation in the body. They're not the, they're not the good ones that we want. We want the negative ions. And negative ionization creates an anti-inflammatory state. So what negative ions do, they displace positive ionization. So therefore, we can create a, a space of that's anti-inflammatory state, an anti-inflammatory state, not an inflama uh, inflammatory state. So I, I, I learned about all that information. Uh, Clint Ober, who was really pushing the whole technologies in regards to earthing, and he did, wrote a book and... Um, and showed you know a, 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 quite a few studies of the effect that earthing and grounding had on uh, reducing inflammation and reducing people's pain and inflammation and and you know we know that from um, a physical standpoint that you know all conditions um, are in, are usually because there's inflammation being is present. Okay, inflammation means there's something not something's not going right in the body. You know, in, in, in medicine, up at the hospital, you know, they check your inflammatory markers and your blood tests to see if something's not right in the body. Um, so I knew all that, and I learnt all that over a period of time, and been sleeping with a grinding sheet, grinding mountain in my feet. But from what I've learnt now, when when I look at it, from a quantum aspect as I'm a quantum healer um, this is kind of how I explained it to my client was that it's called earthing which have a reference to the the healing energy of the earth but we've got to remember that the negative ionization that is in the crust of the earth because we've got the most nerve endings in our body are on the bottoms of our feet to absorb the ionization that is within the crust of the earth now, that negative ionization is imparted into the crust of the earth by lightning. Okay, so that's electricity, right? Um, and we hear about that, yo, know, the body is got biology. It's got chemistry, so uh, biochemistry. But what kind of trumps all that is, is your electrical, okay? And electrical is very much in connection with energy. Um, and from a quantum aspect is that that energy that's embedded by lightning is a source energy, okay? Because what we find when we are, have a, a, a consciousness connection to our source self, our origin, our genesis of our energy, that everything starts to work the right way. Because we're talking about an intelligence. 
okay, a higher aspect of your intelligence, your consciousness, that exa exists out of this reality. And when you connect to that, you get that intelligence that's going to always have your back. It's going to instruct the cells to work the way they should do, your bacteria, your microbe, your microbiome, which is called the microbes, to work with you, not against you, because we're in a symbiotic relationship with that. So when we connect with our source self consciously, we are getting the same effect as earthing and grounding, because earthing and grounding is being connected to our source self. Okay? So I explained to the client that this client had been had a quite a few sessions with them and, and, and she regularly does sessions with me because she's interested about the new information that's coming through. She's interested in one of her big priorities is the ascent, to keep ascending. And every week, you know, new information is coming through to me. And that because we we've got the fingers on the pulse, right? In regards to energy. And energy is always moving and shifting. Okay, that's what energy does. Energy knows how to go with the flow. Sadly, when we embody our identity as a human, we struggle with that concept of going with the flow. Energy has no problem. Our source self has no problem. A lot of our higher selves have no problem in regards to flow, but as the human, and kind of the way that we're being directed and orientated as a human through the mind, the mind is the ultimate blocker and obstructor of flow. Okay, and when we get in the mind, we disconnect from self, source self, and that's when a lot of energy healers or energy sensitive people all of a sudden feel like, I need the ground, I need the ground, uh, uh, things don't feel right, it's because you're disconnected from self, okay, you're, you're in the mind instead of the heart, okay, you need to bring, it, bring awareness back to self, because when you are out there, and you know, this world is is so it got so much stimulus in it, right? It's 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 trying to trying to grab your attention all the time is when your awareness goes out there, then you lose awareness of self and what happens is you you lose your awareness here and you disconnect from your source self and therefore you lose all the benefits of that connection which is creating this body to be in an anti inflammatory state like we in what we call grounding or earthing. Okay, so even though it can be called earthing, it's much more than that, okay? It, it really comes from a place that's nothing to do with the earth. It's just being facilitated within this reality uh, through the mechanism of lightning, which then embeds the uh, crust of the earth. And then when we do touch the earth with our bare, bare uh, skin, then we uh, uptake the negative ions that displace the positive ions so we can create an anti-inflammatory space instead of inflammatory. Inflammatory is really pro-disease, dis-ease. Anti-inflammatory is pro-vitality and, and being healthy, right? So we, we can continue to have an experience through the interface of a human, but don't forget your, your true identity is infinite consciousness because that's going to hold you in good stead because that's going to maintain a space where you hold, create and hold space, which means you remain connected to source self. Okay, so um, another thing about uh, why the problem is when we start to be orientated through the mind, okay? And one thing that I must say is there's, there's a lot, when we look at the word mindfulness, okay, and, and a lot of people that practice meditation, they'll talk about you've got to practice mindfulness, okay? But when we meditate, a lot of people go, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, tool that you can use, nor ability you can use to meditate, to silence the mind, when all reality, really, you're getting the mind out of the way, okay, the mind is really what disconnects you from your consciousness, and then you easily get connected to other consciousness within the field, because thoughts are not in your head, thoughts are expression of the field, okay, and when we're in the mind, we disconnect from our intelligence, our own intelligence. That's always going to have your back, and then we're and then we are vulnerable to connect to or attach. This is where people say you get attachments, connect to other intelligence that have their own agenda. Okay, 
And if their own agenda is the, is is an energy that that we could call suffering or fear that evolves that consciousness, then it's going to create a space where you're going to have suffering and fear. Or a space that's going to promote you to create that for them. Okay, that's really what's happening. And uh, you lose your way. Okay? And out of that, fear comes, suffering comes, stress comes, inflammation comes, dis-ease comes. Okay? Because dis-ease and ailment are the same thing. And ailment is when you're uneasy. Just like dis-ease means you're um, not at ease. Okay? Now, what's the polarity to dis-ease or not uh, in ease? Is being or to be. And that's when you are at ease. Okay? So when we are connected the way that we connect to source self and remain connected with source self is very similar to, again, what people talk about as meditation, is being present, being in the now. When you're in the present, when you're in the now, you evade the effects of time, so the future, the past, and I'm not talking about wrinkles here, okay? I'm talking about the effect that past and future have on you because there was always this quote, and I love this quote, that if we look too far in the past, we get depressed. If we look too far ahead, we get anxiety. Okay? We go into uncertain territory when we do that. Okay, the past is the past for a reason. We need to let go of that. We don't hold on to that. Because our awareness of the, if, we, if our awareness is in the past, we bring that awareness of the past and the present. And the present are the building blocks towards the future. So what happens, your past ends up being your future and you get stuck because you're not evolving forward. Okay? So you can see the dangers of time. And then if we look too far ahead, we start to think, what about this? Maybe this will happen. And we start to create a fear. Okay? And when we start to create a fear, that leads to dis-ease as well. All right, do run leads to inflammation. Okay, and we create that space through our creation ability when we start to do that. So when we, we remove ourselves from that 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 danger by being present and being in the now, and when we do that, we're able to hold a connection to self, to source self. Okay. So I know it's a long winded answer in regards to earthing and grounding, but you know, we hear this term a lot. I need, you know, I need the earth, earthing te technologies. Or I need the ground. I need to get barefoot. But it goes a lot further than just from the healing energy of Mother Earth, okay? Um, you, you could, this is the thing. This is what I found. Because I had to rely on earthing technology. I didn't feel the same without them. But once I realized this principle of living my life in the now being in the present, which holds, it creates and holds space, which means I'm directly connected to my soul self and I remain that way and I understand the booby traps of getting into the mind and going too far ahead in the future or looking back in the past, that I don't need earthing or grounding technology. It doesn't matter if I'm not touching the earth outside. I could be stuck indoors and not touching the earth and I'm still grounded, okay, and I'm still earthed because of understanding it from a quantum level, an aspect of what really earthing is, what really grounding is, okay? So it's, it's an interesting, it's, it's very interesting. Now, this is a little bit more advanced we could go to, is that us, as the human, as, as quantum physics states that the idea that we live in a physical reality is merely an optical illusion, an illusion. Because what, what's happening is the brain, which is part of this reality, part of the human, okay, it's not a true identity. Remember, we're just hiring out this interface of the human to, to see this reality in front of us through duality eyes, right? Um... We've still got the singularity eye that's connected to our true aspects of self, which sees all, right? Um, but 
our brain decodes the information of the field, which is vibration and frequency, to then flip it into a form through these eyes that looks like we live in a physical reality, okay? Really what's happening is we are just a physical projection of the field where our consciousness resides in. That's where consciousness resides in because everything, the genesis, so when you see the word genesis, the genesis of everything is consciousness. Religion originated as consciousness and then when it got put, brought into this reality and it got divided as everything does within a duality reality to create conflict, different countries, different languages, different skin color, um, different religions to create friction, right? It got divided, consciousness in its pure form got divided in all these other religions and it kind of lost its way, okay? But it's the genesis of everything, is consciousness. And that exists within the field, the quantum field. And the quantum field's expressing itself in, in, in regards to a projection. And we are, a, I am a, when I'm connected to my source self, I'm a projection of that, okay? And if I'm not connected to that and I'm dis disconnected there, I'm connected through the mind, so therefore not grounded, I'm, a, I'm starting to become a projection of other consciousness, okay? And that's where we find things go wrong. Because their projection is that they want things to be wrong and then it brings an awareness and then we create fear from that because, oh, oh where'd that lump come from? Why am I going to the toilet and all of a sudden there's blood in the toilet? It's going to create worry, create fear. So we create fear for that consciousness because it, it, the universal law is that consciousness must, all consciousness must evolve. It's a universal law. Okay? So... And some consciousness, like for example, our consciousness that you're connected to, I'm connected to, we evolve through what we label as love. Because remember, it's just a word. Love is a feeling. It's not a word. It's not a label. It's a feeling. And we call it love because it's a, it's a feeling that feels so great, doesn't it? It feels good. Nothing could go wrong, wrong in your present. You're in the moment. Okay, so, but some consciousness evolve through fear. They evolve through the polarity of love. Okay, and they use, they manipulate the human, especially when we're not connected to self, to create that energy for them to evolve. Okay, so we're an expression of our consciousness or some other consciousness, not we're not connected to it. So the problem though we get this original projection from our consciousness as part of the quantum field as us here. Now, when we get in the mind, we disconnect from source self, as I mentioned, and we start to use the effect of this reality, as I said before, time, past and future, and we start to use our experience that we've had in our life to begin to predict and project what the future is going to be. So this projection, which is being uh, put together by the mind, is then replacing that pure projection of your source self from the field. So you can see how things go wrong. Okay? Because, as I say, they remain connected to source self. To, to create and hold space is to live your life in the now. Okay? Not use preconceived ideation of your experience of the past to then think what's going to come here in and the, and the next and in the future. You stay present in the now. But when you're not in the now, you start to project what your future may or may not be, also using experience of the past, then that leads down a pathway where you will not be grounded. You'll be disconnected and um, it's it, it will not be a good pathway for you. Definitely not where we want to go. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed uh, explaining my take on grounding and my take on earthing. And uh, as I say, it's, it's something um, that is beautiful to talk about because this is kind of what brought me into energy medicine a lot was, was the whole earthing technology, but obviously a lot more knowing and understanding of really what, what it's all about. And it goes a lot deeper, as I said, than 
good old planet Earth or Mother Earth. Anyway, if you want to post any comments below, I'll be happy to answer them and any questions. Until next time.